What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I wanted to talk about this because uh, this is, you know, caused some type of back and forth on social media. Um, I've seen on uh, Instagram and on Twitter, mostly on Twitter, and people discussing the identity of NXT has completely changed. Some say it's for the better. Some feel like it's for the worse. And I wanted to kind of have this dialogue and and kind of have this question. Well, you know, have this conversation and ask you guys, how do you guys personally personally feel about the direction that NXT has been moving in for the past few months, ever since they started bringing down more main roster uh, people to the brand starting with uh judgment day well actually starting with uh baron corbin at one point well actually even before then they had brought down Dolph ziggler to win an nxt championship out of nowhere and then they started doing that even more they even brought down aj styles to have a one-off match and they started doing that even with seth rollins there's been multitude of individuals former world champions down in nxt for the past five plus months and i i kind of want to have that discussion with you guys me personally i feel like it has its positives but it also has its negatives nxt doesn't seem like the developmental brand as it used to be it seems more of them operating as a third brand even though they consider it a de developmental brand, they're bringing talent and stars as if this is just another third brand. It's not to develop characters and develop momentum for people to get used to seeing these people on television. It's more so now become a, uh, a place where, yeah, they're still developing people. But they sprinkle a little bit of the main roster individuals on there to either A boost ratings or b boost ratings that's that's kind of how i see it really to boost ratings especially since we have uh dynamite um going to be on tuesday next week um as well as nxt being on tuesday they have essentially assembled the avengers for next week with cody rose for whatever reason having to make an announcement on nxt he's never needed to do that but he has to make an announcement on nxt we got oscar coming down there we also have john cena in carmelo hayes corner and paul Heyman in braun breakers corner why they're in those wrestlers corners even though they have a match doesn't make sense when you really think about it doesn't make sense a lick of sense but guess what guess what they're going against uh, AEW, so they're going to put on everything possible, plus AEW is supposed to have their debut match with Adam Copeland, his debut match against Lucha so they're doing everything they can to dr drive the attention to NXT, we know that to be true, it's, it's, about, it's about ratings, and I, I think that's what it's starting to become, it's not so much about the talent there, yes, the talent there is fantastic, but at the same time, it seems like it's more about the ratings and to boost the ratings up. So I don't know, maybe it's to appeal to the USA Network to keep um, uh, NXT on the USA Network because I do believe uh, their contract expires Monday Night Raw and NXT. I believe it expires next year. So maybe that's their way, WWE, to, hey, we're bringing in this amount of numbers on a Tuesday, I believe last Tuesday, this previous Tuesday, this week, they did over like eight hundred thousand viewers, which is not bad. Um, so I don't, I don't, I really don't know, man. That's that's quite interesting. And considering the main event was um, Dom versus Trick Williams, and ever since they've been bringing Dom and Judgment Day down there, they've been getting some good ratings. Even with Becky Lynch all of a sudden becoming the NXT uh women's champion which caused a lot of controversy some people were happy about it some people felt some type of way about it and then that's another point these main roster individuals are coming down here and winning championships in nxt which is kind of crazy some people are all for it and some people are not so i i do feel like 
it it has lost its identity. It's no longer. It doesn't seem like the developmental brand. It seems more like the third brand that they're trying to boost up the stats, boost up the ratings. So let's bring some uh, noticeable names that people know about down there. So I can see the negatives there because you're not focusing so much on the talent down there. You're really focusing on seeing the main roster talent and see what they do. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm most likely probably going to stream <laughs> NXT next week because I want to see what Cody Rhodes has to say. I want to see what's going to happen with Paul Heyman and John Cena. I want to see what's going to happen with Asuka. It's not so much, not to say that the, the wrestlers there aren't, uh, you know, doing a great job, but the, the attention is no longer specifically on, on the wrestlers there. And if you hear some coughing in the background, it's Blondie. She just woke up from her beautiful nap. It's uh, in the morning, so she finally just waking up from a slumber, and now she's trying to figure out where my food at. So, <laughs> um, so that can that's I've seen a lot of people have that criticism, and and that's fair enough. But on the other side of the fence, the positives is once again ratings. You're building up the ratings. More people. Are, more people that are more casual fans are going to check out because of their favorite wrestlers may be on the show and then they may end up liking what they see from the other wrestlers so i get that from a business standpoint why not it's all under one umbrella why not then you can also say where they're getting they're getting this uh bigger exposure by being in the ring with a becky lynch like uh <laughs> tiffany stratton she did her thing at no mercy and in her Extreme Rules match with Becky Lynch, she showed out. Granted, she didn't win, but more people are going to know who she is because of that match. More people, I'm sure, have been like, who is this person? She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Becky Lynch. They had a pretty, pretty intense ex uh, Extreme Rules match. And people are going to start to know her name more. Tiffany Stratton, that's going to be a name that people may be familiar, more familiar with. Same thing with Trick Williams. He's always been kind of a staple down there in NXT. But the feud they got going on with him and Dominic. Um, even though I don't agree with how he ended up losing the title in three days. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. But obviously, they may be doing something else. And it may, it may lead to a bigger program. But people are going to watch to see. Is Dominic going to win or is there going to be some more dissension with the Judgment Day? So I get that. Or even when Seth Rollins came down there and defended uh, the World Heavyweight Championship against Braun Breaker. I watched that match because you wanted to see what was going to happen. And Braun Breaker is clearly the next guy up at some point to go to the main roster. They have big plans for him. No doubt about it. He's a star he, I mean, he's a star in NAC, so there's no way, and I hope they don't mess it up, but they shouldn't mess this up, him going to the main roster. He should be more or less a star there when he gets to the main roster. And it, it, it comes off maybe as a test management, testing these individuals that's going against these main event stars on the main roster to test them to see how they work well together in the ring and if they're ready to move up to the main roster so it does have its positives more so on the financial side and just the, the aspects of more eyes are going to be seen on the show when you have these big stars but once again does it balance out does the positives of having these main roster stars on nxt help the brand or does it more or less take over the brand and nxt doesn't feel like that developmental brand anymore but more or less the third show that's there to you know that they're there to try to boost up the ratings it, it it doesn't seem like they have too much confidence in just the show being the 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 wrestlers that they have there drawing in that those people you know drawing in more people i feel like it's more so them wanting to put on the main roster individuals, some of them in there, the high profile name individuals in there to bring more people. But the problem is, and and you can, you know, this may happen. Do those people stay when these when the Becky Lynch go back to the main roster? Because she's not gonna be there forever. Do those people stay when when John Cena and Paul Heyman inevitably go back to the main roster the, that same week? They're not gonna be back down there. Cody's not going to be back down there. Do those people stay or is this just a temporary rating boost and then it goes back to what it was before? And then, you know, it kind of, 
you you're kind of not helping the talent that's there being able to bring in more people if for example you have these mega stars come in then they leave some may stay but the majority's not because they're only there to see the main roster people not the people that was there in nxt so there's there's some positive and negatives on both sides i want to get y'all opinion do y'all feel like nxt has changed for the better when for them adding these main roster individuals do you feel like it has changed for the worse or are you indifferent to it all together let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still getting to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace